crystallization. The chemicals that are used in labs or in our daily lives should be pure and completely free from any type of impurities. Depending upon the nature of impurities, different techniques of separation are used to get a pure component such as filtration, evaporation, decantation, distillation and crystallization. Crystallization is one of the most important techniques used to purify solids. In this module, we will learn about what is crystallization? How can we obtain pure copper sulphate from an impure sample? Crystallization is a process that separates a pure solid in the form of its crystals from a solution. Different steps that are involved in the crystallization process are Preparation of the solution of impure sample Filtration of the solution Concentration of the filtrate Cooling of the concentrated solution Separation and drying of crystals Let us perform an activity of obtaining pure copper sulphate from an impure sample so as to understand this process. Take some impure sample of copper sulphate and dissolve it in minimum amount of water to prepare a solution of impure substances. Stir the solution gently with a glass rod so that the powder dissolves completely. Now, filter the solution with the help of a filter paper so that solid impurities are left behind. The filtered solution is heated till it is reduced to get a saturated solution. The solution so obtained is covered and left undisturbed for a day at room temperature to cool slowly. As the solution cools, deep blue crystals of copper sulphate are observed. Deacon the mother liquor carefully in a beaker to separate the pure crystals. This overall process is called crystallization. This technique is better than simple evaporation technique. As there are some solids that decompose or some like sugar may get charred on heating to dryness. Also, some impurities may remain dissolved in the solution even after filtration. On evaporation, these contaminate the solid. Now, let us recapitulate what we have discussed in this module. Steps of Crystallization Process Why Crystallization is Better Than Evaporation Let's practice some of the questions.